Okay, Steph here again. Now we're going to show you how to create a profile on snagajob.com as well as find a job. Here to school you on the fine art of contact information is Kevin. So you've already started setting up your profile. Next comes your contact information. Name, address, phone number, that sort of stuff. Now make sure you double check this because this is going to be the only information that an employer has to give you a call and set up an interview. Now that we're talking about phone numbers and such, let's talk. Look, no one wants to hear your favorite song when they're trying to leave you a voicemail. And then also, there's really no need to use your sexy voice. So, if you want to get a job, keep it simple and leave a nice outgoing message. Hi, this is Kevin. Please leave a message. we will work just fine. You go do that. I'll be waiting. All right, moving on. Fill out the questions and make sure you check yes under add my profile to your database. Remember how we told you employers could contact you directly? Yeah, they can. And checking this box is the only way that that's ever gonna happen. Fill out the rest of the required fields, including your birthday. But don't worry, we won't let the employer know how old you really are. Then click continue. Next, you'll be entering information about what schools you went to. Please make sure you enter in all and every secondary school that you went to, including high school, college, trade schools, GED programs, and any other certifications that you may have received along the way. Now fill this out completely, because the more information that you put in, the better it's going to work out for you. This information matters a lot to employers, and not filling this section out may be the reason that you don't get a call back. Now stick around, and we're going to talk about what you can do to your profile to make sure that you're standing out from the crowd.